Hey there. Good morning, friends. Thank you for joining me for this morning's meditation. Um, I decided to wait a little longer this morning so I could speak louder. I had some folks who couldn't really hear me, so um, my house is still sleeping, but it's time for them to wake up. So uh, there you go. For the last couple of days, uh, we've been talking about the Desert Fathers and reflecting on some of the deep uh, spiritual truths that they discovered by living in solitude, away from the world. And we got on this topic because uh, collectively we're, we're sort of living apart from the world right now, at least uh, the world that many of us are used to. And I received a request last night to talk about ways to deal with anxiety, uh, especially anxiety over losing a job. So uh, I thought about this request last night in light of the Desert Fathers to see if they have anything to say about anxiety, and indeed they do. So uh, they speak to anxiety in a way that, in the way that they live their very lives. So for example, uh, they left the world that they were living in and they moved into the desert. And they were living in a world that was that was noisy and dark and corrupt and distracting. And they really couldn't do anything about those things. Um, so they kind of analyze, well, I can't do anything about all that, but I can do something. I can leave these things. So they left and they moved into the desert away from all the distractions. So what we see here is kind of these two different problems. Uh, and I've talked about this before for those of you who tune into Wesleyan Chapel and you listen to my sermons. Uh, but two sets of problems. You know, we've got things called gravity problems, and then we have things called actionable problems. And a gravity problem is really like gravity. It's always there. It's pushing down on us. And there isn't anything that you can do about it. Uh, and then we have actionable problems. And actionable problems are things that you can do something about. It's a problem that you encounter, and you sit down and you analyze it, and you come up with a workable solution, a plan, and you work through it. Uh, it's kind of the whole basis of the, the serenity prayer, you know? So for the Desert Fathers, uh, the gravity problem was, was their surroundings, you know? Um, they couldn't do anything about their surroundings, so their actionable problem was to change their surroundings. You know, uh, move to a different scenery, if you will. Now, you may be experiencing a, a, a gravity problem right now, uh, like losing your job or uh, struggling with an illness uh, or even losing somebody to this illness or any illness for that matter. And, uh, and all the anxiety and, and the stress and the fear that comes along with that. Now, it's when we look... Uh, we look at what's happening and we decide, can we do anything about those things? Can we do anything about it? No, there's, there's not a lot we can do about uh, the collective situation right now. You can't really do a whole lot about losing your job. It happened. You can't really do anything about getting sick. It happened. You can't do anything about uh, somebody else getting sick. It happens. You know what I mean? And so now we got to shift our perspective to consider what we can do. And there are things that we can do to make us feel even just a little bit better. And might I suggest a change of scenery, you know, a shift in your perspective. Uh, consider how God provided meat and bread and water for the Hebrews while they wandered in the desert for 40 years. Uh, consider how God provided meat and water for the prophet Elijah while he was hiding in the desert, and even how he blessed the jar of flour uh, for the single mother and her son who would provide food for Elijah, you know, making that one day's worth of flour last for many more days. And even the, the Jewish people celebrate uh, Hanukkah. I'm sure many of you know of Hanukkah. And celebrating Hanukkah for eight days is a way to remember how God stretched uh, one day's worth of lamp oil into eight days worth of lamp oil. So perhaps that small shift in thinking for you is uh, both your actionable problem and your solution 
is seeing how God is with you in your anxiety and how God is ready to take what you have, even if it's very little, and stretch that for a lot longer than you think. And maybe resting in the promises of God for him to provide for us, to always be with us, is enough to, to stretch your, uh, your peace and your comfort in times like this. To lean on your family and to uh, just be in community, uh, which I encourage you to do. I sincerely hope that you have uh, friends and family and a church family uh, because you certainly have a heavenly family who is looking out for you. So thanks for tuning in this morning, guys. Uh, we're all in this together, and we're going to get through it. So try to stay positive, okay? Let's pray. Lord God, please grant us the serenity to accept the things we cannot change, the courage to change the things we can, and the wisdom to know the difference. We love you, and we give you thanks and pray. Amen. See you tomorrow, guys. Take care.